Now, what I'm here to talk about is how these media corporations use black people as pawns, but also to fit their agenda as well. So, we're going to start off with The Breakfast Club. They got Revolt and iHeartRadio controlling them, Jewish organizations, corporations. And they pushing this agenda with Bernice Burgos or whatever, talentless bartender slash high-paid escort. You know what I'm saying? Thought. Just as simple as that. Home record as well. But it's the most disliked um, Breakfast Club video I've ever seen. And Everyday Struggle just came off their most disliked video I, I've ever seen. But another one this morning with Joe Budden. So, you know, the whole feeling of this media shit is mutual. Nobody is fucking with this shit. It's as simple as that. A large majority of the people are not fucking with this agenda that they pushing. As you can see in the news, Trump banned transgenders from being in the military, which is a good thing. But you got people that still want to say shit like, bro, if you don't even know who the fuck you are, what makes you think you're not just going to turn on everybody and join ISIS or some crazy shit like that? They wouldn't have let them in any fucking way. But, you know, you don't even know who the fuck you are as a person. You're not mentally stable. How the fuck can you be in the army? But this is society, though. They get they take offense with shit like that. This is how backwards shit is, bro. Honestly, I don't I don't man. But the the way these people use us as black people, and I hope the black women that's listening. I don't know if I have a lot of black women that listen to me. Probably little to none. I know of one, but you know that ain't you know it's it's supposed to be way more than that. But they using black women as pawns all the time. This movie Girl Trip, you know. That movie Insecure. I should do an exposure video on that uh, movie coming out called Detroit. Because, obviously, they always want to go to the past. These Jews love going to the past of racial tension. But they never want to talk about the stories of of John Brown. Bro, they don't want to talk about John Brown. <laughs> they hate shit like that, bro. I'm telling you. They don't, man, they don't like people that, that actually stood up in history. And go against their agenda and actually made changes. They don't like shit like that. So they won't, you'll never hear about John Brown, but I'm gonna do a video on him as well because I know a lot of young dudes listen to my channel and they don't know about the past or whatever. And uh, I can do one on Viola Liuza, who, who died. Matter of fact, I could do it now. She died, you know what I'm saying, with the civil rights movement, she died helping black people. And then it's another woman too. I forgot her name at the moment, but she died. She got um, she committed suicide because the KKK had killed her um, her daughter when she came home and left a burning cross in front of her house. And she stood up for civil rights, wanted equal rights for black people. So when y'all folks be coming in this comment section disrespecting, you know what I'm saying, trying to um, say that, just I'm gonna use an example. A nigga came in my comment section. A brother that came in my comment section. Defending Tay K saying that that white folks been doing this shit to us for years. So you low key saying you don't care about the white girl, but bro, check it out. If that's the mentality you have, then what would be the same mentality for a white person that you know what I'm saying wouldn't sympathize with a Trayvon Martin? You know, you gotta stop that mentality, bro, because that shit ain't what's up. And obviously, white people actually stood with us in the civil rights movement. They've been through it all. The Underground Railroad wouldn't have worked without white people, bro. Wouldn't have been a lot of free slaves. You got to understand this shit. It's bipolar. You know what I'm saying? It's it's polarism in, in everything. You know, that's just how the world works. Black and white. Regardless of how you see it. The yin and the yang. So, just realizing that. I lost my whole point, actually. But I, I'm, I'm low-key getting on this shit. But John Brown was against... He was an ab abolitionist. Abolitionist. <laughs> but he was against slavery. He didn't want it. He didn't want none of that shit to go on, and he went around killing white folks that supported slavery. He killed several white people. He got a bunch of white people together, and they went around killing white of uh, white people that supported slavery. A legend. <laughs> but with that being said, man, I'm not finna be done yet. Hold on. So you got people like the Breakfast Club and Everyday Struggle. They pushing these agendas. They obviously got you ties to them because. Every time you see an agenda like this, it's always a Jew behind it in the scenes. They in the cut. I'm telling you. So, just like with the double XL, you see the you know the the white lady that was running shit. Don't don't know a shit. Don't know jack shit about hip hop. 
but chose all these cornball gimmicky motherfuckers as the as um in the cipher freestyle or whatever and the freestyle that people were anticipating the most ended up being the most disliked and the artists that people anticipated the most disappointed the most because when you do goofy shit like this it'll always come back to you always so yeah man I'm watching this industry burn down I'm watching everything like shit is wild I hope y'all see this for what it is because when they run these agendas I they expect for you guys to eat it up because they think people are sheep. I, I believe it's some type of awakening happening, low key, on the sly. But you know, when people see interviews and such, I believe they go back to like people will say they support somebody in a, in a comment section, but then in the next couple of days they won't fuck with them. That's just how it is. People are, you know, they fickle. But with that being said, I'm gone. <laughs>